So as beautiful as this house is, having such a vast amount of glass in here, especially in the direction in which the, the sun rises and sets, can cause a real issue with a still cinema. Obviously, when there's this much light in the space, the still cinema that's just behind me here is pretty useless. So what we've done on the programming, on the remote control, is that if the cinema is turned on during the day and those shades are open, that the shades will automatically close as the still cinema drops down out of the ceiling. So let me show you that. So this is all dropping down. Any lights that are on are fading on. The shades are all gonna drop down. The screens come down, projectors come down out of the ceiling and that will fire on. We don't have any shades on the window to the right of me, but seeing as the sun is in this direction, generally that is okay. And will give us enough of an image to be able to watch this during the day. So the shades are set to automatically come down at sunset anyway. But if we've watched a movie during the day, i.e. before sunset, so we're in winter about four o'clock in the UK, those shades will shut to allow the movie to be able to be watched. However, when we turn the cinema off during the daytime, i.e. when the shades are supposed to be shut, what should happen is when the cinema turns off, those shades also just automatically open just from my room off on the remote control. So one of the things we've got on this project here is Q-Motion shades. So they are a hardwired window treatment, so we can cover up this vast amount of glass we've got here. So this glass is about eight meters long, about three and a half meters high, and it runs from floor to ceiling at this property. Now, because of the stealth cinema and the heat in this space, the shades on this job were a must have. Now we've got lots of clever little things enabled on this, such as when the stealth cinema behind me here comes out and is activated, the shades will automatically shut. These shades are also gonna shut automatically 20 minutes after sunset every day, and the Christmas tree will turn on just after. And then we've also got on here what we call solar shading. So we give clients an option on a touchscreen to disable this. However, if the thermostats in this space read that the temperature has gone above 25 degrees, the shades will automatically, automatically shut to block the sun out. So these shades actually went in really, really well because we've kind of got a floor to ceiling effect and you don't see them when, when they're not on. So the shades actually are hidden in a pocket recess just up here. And then when they come down, they'll come down obviously, cover the whole of this glass and then they'll hide down in this floor pocket here. So they literally cover floor to ceiling and it looks really, really good. Um, we've set up a few favorites on a custom button for the clients so they can have them fully open, fully closed, 25%, 50%, 75%, but then you can also control the blinds individually. So if the client was cooking in the kitchen here during the day, sun was in the face, they could just shut the section, which is over the kitchen area. So I'll show you on the touch screen how these work, how simple they are. Uh, and then show you behind the scenes on how they're controlled. So what I can do on this touch screen here is if I press the four in the top left hand corner, we can come into the shade section, which is populated because we've got shades. And then what we've got on here is we've got the ability to control all blinds. So we've put those into a blind group. We can do just the left window, mid left, middle, mid right, and right window. We've also got the ability to control the kitchen window, uh, bedroom, uh, bathroom window, and the bedroom line. Now, if I wanted to close those, I could close an individual window, say the mid left blind, if I wanted that open um, to that percentage, that would just close just that window. Not there. Yep, I could send that one all the way down, along with the left one, if I was cooking in that space. Now, because coming into here, adjusting those, um, takes a little while. What we've done for the client on the home page is we've actually put in a shades option uh, on a custom button. So if they were to press the shades button there, we've put in there 100% open, so fully open, 
75% open, 50% open, 25% open are all closed. So if they were to press one of those, let's say 50%, that will do what it needs to do on the shades, uh, whether they're open or closed, to bring them all up to that 50% limit. So one thing you may notice with these shades is they aren't moving all perfectly in line. So that is because uh, Lutron on the uh, patent on what's called hem bar alignment. So if you want your shades to open perfectly, that's achievable. Uh, we just have to look at Lutron for that. Now, if I wanted all these shades all closed, again, that would take them all down, control them as a full group, and they would all close for that uh, fully closed position. Now, one thing you might notice on the bottom of here, and I've already mentioned it once before, is solar shading disabled. Now, the reason that we've put this in, and the solar shading in general, is because having so much glass in a space like this makes it absolutely red hot. So if I come through here into the comfort and read what the temperature is, so we've got the kitchen and cinema there, it's currently 23.9 degrees. Now, we've got that set up that if in summer, this gets above 25 degrees, and in winter, this gets above 22 degrees, that those shades will automatically shut. Um, to block some of the solar heat out. But if for whatever reason the client wanted to stop that, so it was during the day, they wanted them open, even though it was sunny, they could just press solar and shade and disable, and that would activate a variable to stop that from happening. One of the other features we've got on here is that if somebody had selected a source, so if we put the cinema on, but it was during the day, um, then that will shut the shades automatically as well. Uh, and when the cinema was turned off, if we were in the daytime, those shades would open, but if it was nighttime, so after sunset, those shades would remain closed. And come into here. Open up the shades fully open. Show you one of my other favorite features with this. So these shades are tied in with a, a scheduler. So basically what that means is that we've asked the client when they'd like the shades to shut every day, which happens to be 20 minutes after sunset. So when the sun sets, 20 minutes later, those shades will begin to automatically close. So this doesn't have to be interacted with. This will just happen every day automatically and um, without any kind of interaction. But uh, during the winter months, we've got a nice little twist on this. When the shades reach 100% closed, the Christmas tree automatically comes on, which is a nice little touch and uh, makes the client smile every day. <laughs>